Hello and welcome to another edition of Word Worship and Prayer. It's amazing that we are having the nice edition. God has indeed been faithful. Today, we will be looking at yet another interesting topic. And it is titled, Why Should I Testify? My name is Dupsi Uyene, and by the grace of God, we will be looking at the scriptures together. I love the fact that every single thing you need in life, you can always look into the word of God for a pathway, for an anchor, and for clarity as to what and how you should go about it. So let's dive in and look at the topic, why should I testify? Have you heard anybody make this statement? No, I don't want to testify because I don't want anybody to attack me. Or I don't want to testify because people will start asking me for money. Some people even say the reason they don't want to testify is because they're shy. They can't stand in front of people to speak. And the classic one, I don't want to testify because it will sound as though I am bragging. These are all valid points based on people's point of view. They are valid because that's how they feel. But one thing we know as believers is that our lives and how we do what we do is not a function of how we feel, is not a function of what we think, but it is a function of the Word of God. And so today, again, we will be looking into the Word of God to help us answer that question. Why should I testify? From my study, I have found out that to testify, and I will read quickly, is to give evidence. To give evidence means to provide a proof. It means to provide a proof as a witness. You provide a proof as a witness as though you are in a courtroom. And a witness is that person that was there when it all happened. That is what we mean by testifying or sharing a testimony. This means that testimonies are accounts of what we have experienced and they are given in the bid to validate someone or to validate something such that others can believe our words. Isn't that amazing? I want us to read Psalm 89 verse 1 together. It says from the Amplified Version, I will sing of the goodness and the loving kindness of God forever. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness from generation to generation. What this says to us is that when you testify, you give an account of what has happened and you encourage people from generation to generation of the things that God is capable of doing. In Psalm 103 verses 1 to 6, David again showed us what it means to testify of the goodness of God. Let's read the word of God together. I'll be reading from the Amplified Version again. Bless and affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deep within me, bless his holy name. Bless and affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget any of his benefits. Who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you lavishly with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your heart with good things so that your youth is renewed like the soaring eagle. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. This is an account of the things that God did for David and he was bold enough to write about it. He was bold enough to sing about it. He was bold enough to declare it to the people around him. I want us to break down the psalm we just read. And in breaking it down, we will see the importance of sharing testimonies. We will see the need for sharing testimonies. In verse 1, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. When we praise God, when we talk about his goodness, that is us testifying to the things that he has done because we have been witnesses of his goodness. The next verse is, my soul makes her boast in the Lord. 
You know, I said earlier that the reason some people do not want to share testimonies is because it will look as though they are bragging. But David said here, I will make my boast in the Lord. I will not make my boast in my wisdom. I will not make my boast in my ability. But I will make my boast in Jehovah, the one who sits in heaven and makes the earth his footstool. I will make my boast in the God of my salvation. He said for that day, he said, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. The reason we make our boast in the Lord is because when people hear of the things that God has done for us, they will rejoice indeed and say, who is your God? And by so doing, we can bring people in multiples into the kingdom of God because we are sure and we are witnesses of the goodness of God. David said further again, he said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. This is a call to glorifying the name of God. This is a call to people to say, Come, come and magnify God with me. Come and see what he has done in my life and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Why should we give testimonies? The reason is that when we're in trouble, we run to God. When we're in need, we run to God. And when he has done it, Yes, we say thank you to him. But at the same time, based on what God has done for us, when we share those testimonies, we're able to encourage others. We're able to give them that hope that the God that did it for one, that same God will do it for the other. In fact, one of the things I do is that when I hear a testimony that really, really blesses my heart, I say in my mind or I say it loudly, I am next in line for this kind of testimonies. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yet again in Psalm 34, David said the reason he will testify is that he sought the Lord and the Lord heard him. And like I said earlier, when we are in trouble and we call on God and he delivers us, it is right, it is important for us to give this testimony, to account for his goodness. Hallelujah. Going back to Psalm 103, one of the things that David said is, forget not his benefits and what are these benefits based on david's experience he said who forgives my iniquities yes when we fall into sin god is able god is more than willing to forgive us and this is worthy of us testifying to his goodness he said who healed all thy diseases who crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies. And I love that part that says, so your youth is renewed like the eagles. One of the things that God can do for us is that he renews our youth. He makes us look better and better every day because his presence is in our lives. His presence is within us and that presence radiates and the glory of God is shown and the glory of God is seen in all our lives. What am I trying to pass across with all the scriptures? Saints, do not be apologetic of the blessings of God on your life. If God has been good to you, speak about it. If God has been kind to you, speak about it. If he has comforted you, speak about it. The Bible says that with the comfort that we have received, we are able to comfort other people. The next question someone might be asking them is, in what forum can I give testimonies? I would recommend to you, you don't have to stand in front of a whole church to testify of the goodness of God. You can speak of the goodness of God to your children, to your husband, to your wife, to your sister, to the people in your sphere of influence. And if you are comfortable, you can stand in front of the congregation of the people of God and share your testimony. The important thing is that speak about the goodness of God. That's why I love that song that says, I will sing of the goodness of God forever. With my mouth will I make known his faithfulness to all generation. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. In closing, I will want to share a personal testimony. Some years back, I lost a child. She was five months old. She died in my arms. And before you start pitying me, this is why I'm sharing this testimony because 
I can stand here to testify that God is able to wipe away your tears. God is able to make you forget the sorrows of the past. Really, if you ask me today, what date this child passed away? I can't remember. I have to kind of sit down to calculate it. This is what God can do. He can wipe away your tears. He can make you forget your sorrow. He can renew you so that even when you remember those bad things, you are not sad. You are not in despair because God has wiped away your tears. Like I said, I lost a child. She died in my arms, actually. And I remember the day it happened. I wish I could just run crazy. I wish I could just go into a mental institution and just forget about everything. But I remember the Holy Spirit said to me, this is a determining point in your life. Do you want to go crazy? Or do you want to pick up and receive my comfort and move on? I stand here to testify that by the grace of God, I took the other option of receiving the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And that same day, God helped me. I wiped away my tears. I stood up. I went for fellowship. In fact, the Sunday after, I took a special number in church. Not because I was in denial, but because God indeed comforted me. And I stand here to testify today that no matter what you're going through, no matter your sorrow, no matter your pain, go into the presence of God just like I did. Go into the presence of God like David did after that child died. The Bible says he got up, he anointed himself, and he went into the house of God and he worshipped because in the presence of God, sorrows, they give way to joy. That song says, I'm trading my sorrow, I'm trading my shame, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. That was what the Holy Spirit helped me to do that night that my daughter died. And he wiped away my tears, he gave me a new song to sing, and now I stand to testify that indeed our God is able to wipe away your sorrow and give you everlasting joy. It's been a pleasure today sharing the word of God with us. And in closing, I would want us to pray right there where you are to bow your head and talk to God. Tell him about any sorrow or any pain in your heart and ask him for his comfort. Receive his comfort right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the peace of the Lord that passes all human understanding. Receive the grace of God that can help you overcome every challenge in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you once again for bringing your word to us. Lord, today we stand in your presence to say we will sing of your goodness. We stand in your presence to say we will show forth your glory. We stand today to say we will declare that you are the only God. We will declare that there is no God like you. That when you do great things in our lives, we will stand to testify of your goodness. Father, we honor you. We bless you. We glorify you. We adore you. We thank you because you are a good God. You are merciful. You are kind. You are good. And your mercy endures forever. Lord, I pray for my brother, for my sister that has joined and is going through one challenge or the other. Father, I ask that you will pour upon them your grace to come into your presence and to lay their bodies down because in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore thank you blessed father we honor and we glorify your name in jesus name we are prayed. amen and amen and amen thank you for joining us today and if you've joined and you have not given your life to jesus christ it's a very simple process just bow down your head and pray this prayer with me say lord jesus I know I am a sinner and I know I need a savior. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord, be my savior. Take over the administration of my life and help me to honor you in all that I do. Help me to boldly declare that you are the only living God. Thank you for answering my prayers. In your holy name, I have prayed. 
Amen. Congratulations if you pray that prayer with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the house of God in this kingdom. Our God is good, our God is kind, and his mercies endure forever. Send us an email at foretasteconcert at gmail.com or leave a comment and we will get in touch with you. We will recommend you to a Bible-believing church near you so that you can grow your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's been an amazing time sharing the word of God again today. And in closing, I would want to share this song with us to testify of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. It's titled, Jesus Did It. There are things your father cannot do for you. There are things your mother cannot do for you. There are things that people cannot do for you. And those are the things that God wants to do for you. Be blessed as you listen to this song. Go forth and testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Till I come your way again, my name is Dupsi Oyenei and it's been a pleasure sharing the word of God with you. Stay blessed and stay connected. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.